Hi, I'm Professor Alastair Pierce from Working with Creatives, the organisation that helps you work happily and effectively with your creative colleagues. Today, I'm going to be talking about a creative colleague called If Only. I could do something really special if only they would let me. That's him talking. He used to work for me. He once brought me a new idea for a product, and it was a fairly good idea, but unlikely to attract many customers and certain to make a loss given the resources needed. I encouraged him to rethink the costs. At the next meeting, he arrived with even more grandiose plans and costs. I suggested he should run a trial with all the resources he needed, but on such a small scale that the certain financial loss could be absorbed. Give it a go. Let's see what it's like. I expected him to be delighted, but no. The experiment wasn't worth trying on that scale. It was all or nothing with him. Okay, I said, pity, then it's nothing. He was cross, but maybe even then I sent some relief on his face. That's if only. He's working for you now. So you will have seen him urging a project only to be blocked by managers lacking his vision. So ignorant, if only they would just open their eyes. But more recently, his luck turned. It was a smaller idea which, to his amazement, got the go-ahead from his manager. Unfortunately, it's now failed for reasons if only is happy to explain, but which don't seem to include the fact that he has never done much actual work on it. No. He's clearly been let down by others. He says, such a missed opportunity for the company. It could have been great. And now he's got another great idea. And perhaps like the last, it'll be approved. It's got some attractive features in it, all carefully linked to this year's top priorities from head office. So if only is likely to be patted on the head and invited to join the next stage. But this means work. So if only will, I predict, produce countless objections to the planned rollout of the idea. New colleagues will be surprised. Those who have worked with him for some time will have seen it all before, bored with the predictable procession of excuses. His wise manager should thank If Only for his potentially good idea and send him off to have some more. The next stage should be left to colleagues really willing to do some work. How does If Only get away with it? Turning his work avoidance technique into the label of the righteous victim held back by mindless management. It's his charisma. Successful If Onlys are charismatic. They can manufacture a fan club. He couldn't have pulled off this poor little old me trick without their support. But it's a con trick to disguise his own lack of creativity, or at best, a mechanism for unloading the hard work of creativity onto colleagues dazzled by his charisma. So, my advice for working with a charismatic creative like If Only is to peer sceptically through its dazzle before deciding to become a fan or staying his polite but cautious colleague. It may be that the manager concludes that the potential creativity of his ideas does indeed make him a valuable, if limited, colleague. Or she might alternatively decide that he is basically a fraudster, that she has no responsibility for his psychotherapy and that he has no useful contribution to make to her organisation. If you'd like to meet any other creative colleagues, come to my website at workingwithcreatives.co.uk.